and welcome to my video review of this LCD alarm clock. Now, I know what the company name is. It's Z-H-P-U-A-T, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Odds are you probably don't either. If you do, congratulations. I don't, so I'm not going to even try. I'm going to tell you about the product, though. This is the alarm clock. I've been using it for about a week. I actually like it a lot. Here are some of the reasons why. First, it's really inexpensive. So if you're looking for an alarm clock and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I can tell you that this one is a good alarm clock for the price that'll do what you need it to do. Second, it's reasonably sturdy. It's not thin plastic. It doesn't squeeze when you squeeze it. It's fallen off the table. It is not broken. So as far as inexpensive clocks go, this one actually is pretty sturdy. I like it. Uh, next, the clock works, the alarm works, and the alarm is loud. Certainly loud enough to wake you up. Not like so loud that you think it's a fire alarm, but it's it's loud. So uh, you can't always say that about all these uh, clocks that you can find around this price range. The clock doesn't always show very well. This one shows from any angle. The alarm doesn't always work. This one does. The alarm's not always easy to set. This one is very easy to set. Let's look at the back for a second to talk about some of those things that you can set. Alarm on and off is just up and down. Very easy. You don't have to remember, is it this way or that? Up is on, down is off. Uh, easily uh, easy to set the time, the date, and the alarm time. All things you want to do, very easy. You can determine whether or not you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press of a button, also easy. There's a sensor you can turn on or, on or off, and what that sensor does is, if you have it on, there's a light sensor here, and the room is very dark, it dimly, and I mean dimly, lights this clock face. You won't even see it in a normal uh, room lighting. You only see it at night. If you turn the sensor off, this is completely off, there's no front light, and unless you press the button here, which then brightens it up, you can't see the time. So if you're one of those people that always needs to know what time it is, turn the sensor on. When it's dark in your room, you'll still be able to see the time. It won't keep you awake, it's not bright at all, but it's bright enough to see. If you don't want to see that, unless you press the button, turn the sensor off, and then the only way to see it in the middle of the night is to press this button to get it to light up for a few seconds. So, whichever way you like it, I really like the fact that there is an option to keep it on dim. Now, it seems to me that, the, that um, there's not much of a battery draw because, again, I've been using this well over a week. I put some fairly old AAA batteries into it. It takes three of them in back. And even those old batteries have had no problem whatsoever running this thing for well over a week. I would expect new batteries to last a long time. And I've had the sensor on, so it's had the light on and everything. No problems. Doesn't seem to drain the batteries too badly at all. So, if you want to see the time at night, I recommend it. It's also got a uh, thermometer built in. Currently, it's, uh, it's almost 79 degrees in here, which is awfully warm, but it, probably also because I'm holding it. But anyway, it's just a nice function. You can see how warm the room you're in is. You can see what the time is. You can easily see when the alarm is set for. You can see what the date is. All these things come on a really inexpensive alarm clock. So if you're looking for something that's in this price range, I can't see you getting better than this. Clock, alarm, temperature, date. Nighttime sensor if you want to be able to see it. So pretty much all the features you need in an alarm clock are here, and it works very well. So highly recommended at this price. Thank you.